we are still here in Khari Bauli in Chandni Chowk and it's still a grey rainy morning. I say still because for those of you who've watched the previous video, you've already seen a rainy day in Khari Bauli. So Khari Bauli is an area within Chandni Chowk. Chandni Chowk is of course the Mughal city of Shah Jahanabad. It's called Chandni Chowk now and it's a 400 year old city, more than 400 years. We've been trying to explore Chandni Chowk or Shah Jahanabad or Old Delhi for the last many videos and you'll see there are quite a few walks that we've done here. This one is going to be mostly within Khari Bauli. In fact, mostly within this very interesting and I would also say interestingly beautiful space in Khari Bauli. This is actually not too old, especially when compared to Shah Jahanabad. Uh, this building is called the Gadodia Market and it was built in the early 1900s so I would say it's roughly a hundred years old and over the years the space has been completely transformed and as of now as you can see it's used bit of like a warehouse and it also houses all these people who work here. As is common with anything in Old Delhi, we can see that the Kadodia market is also neglected and we only see slight hints of its glorious past and its beautiful architecture on this rainy weekend morning and of course if we zoom in we also see the lives of all the people who live here and who work here people who are taking their morning bath of course people who are working here because this is primarily the epicenter of the spice market Khari Bauli and so many other things happening so in this video we would essentially explore the visuals and the lives of people here in the Gadodia market in Khari Bauli There you go, we can see that hot, hot breakfast is being prepared this morning for all the people who live here and work here. And I'm not sure if you noticed, but when we had just entered this floor of the market, there was also a tailor in here. So given the huge number of people who live here, who bathe here and who work here, there's this whole economy and economic activity of course which is happening here. Of course at the bigger scale this is a huge spice market but at the smaller scale you see people who are tailoring or people who are cooking food or I'm sure people who are doing a lot of other things as well for the workers who live here. And yeah, our plan is to just walk around and walk upstairs and experience all this.
So we've almost completed one sort of round of the first floor around the central courtyard. So much so that we are seeing familiar faces. <laughs> So you've come one floor higher. This is the second floor. And I think the Americans would call it the third floor. <laughs> you can see it's quieter as opposed to the crowds that you would see one floor below. And if you went further down, you would see crazy crowds here in Khari Bauli. But yeah, this is peaceful. So let's keep going upstairs, I would say. Hopefully we'll find better views and more peaceful spaces as we go up. And maybe that's also a moment for us to talk a little bit more about the area which is Khari Bauli. That's the area where the Gadodia market is located. So Khari Bauli is a very famous spice market. This is actually famous throughout North India. And Bauli is basically, I think, people who are familiar with uh, India or Hindi or the history of this area would know Bauli is, wow definitely getting better and I think especially the rainy day makes this extra interesting probably we are not really missing the Sun or I don't know maybe maybe we are because I think the blue skies would make this even more interesting so up here I'm not sure if you noticed uh, we don't really see a lot of commercial activity, of course, because this is uh, seeming like the residential part of the market. So the people who work downstairs probably are living here in these quarters on this side. How convenient, right? Just live here, chill here, <laughs> go downstairs and do your work and then come back interesting to kind of peek into the lives of people here but yeah coming back to Khari Bauli Bauli refers to a step well which I guess used to be in this area uh, I mean I don't guess that's the historical fact that there was a step well in this area which was salty because khari means salty so that's where the name of the place comes from oops all right so while that area was all locked up here we are we were still able to get to a side terrace of the Gadodia market and as you can see it's a very rainy and grey terrace but I'm sure we'll still be able to have interesting views there you go that's Shah Jahanabad for you I think this kind of view is of course rare in the crowded lanes of Shah Jahanabad. Wow, look at that. That's such an interesting view. Those stairs and the people working, doing their morning things on this rainy day. So cool. Honestly, it makes me jealous of the birds out there. Such nice views they would have. But yeah, it's rare for you to get to a spot in Old Delhi which would 
give you such wonderful and expansive views. This, of course, is the very famous Fatehpuri Masjid, which is opposite of the Red Fort on the other side of the main Chandni Chowk Road. I think these rains have kind of like pleasantly surprised me. I wasn't really expecting that I would have such a wonderful time and such wonderful views. I guess you would not have expected so either, right? Because if you're in Old Delhi and it's a rainy day, then nine out of 10 cases, you would end up having a bad and dirty kind of day. But this of course is anything but, right? And wow, look at that. So on the left, you see what is the main structure of the Gadodia market because we, as I mentioned, are at one of the corner terraces and that main road that you see on the right looking specially beautiful from this height on this rainy Sunday morning. That road is the main road of Khari Bauli where all the action happens and all the spices are sold. Whereas in this building, all the spices are stored in a way. <laughs> and I'm not sure if you noticed, but there was this very pungent smell, strong smell of those spices here. But of course now we are away from all the chaos and all those smells just just enjoying this beauty from the heights of Garudia market. I'm honestly so happy to have achieved so much out of this day. This rainy morning. Wow, look at look at that. I mean it's almost unbelievable how neglected these areas are i mean of course that neglect gives you another interesting perspective it shows you how time and the elements have not been fair to this place but that is kind of the reality right unless you take care and you repair things do go bad and the reality of Old Delhi is that everything is neglected and is going bad. I mean, there's still interesting views, but it's not good. Sorry, so I had to suddenly step out of the Gadodia market and take you out of the Garudia market as well because something had happened and now here we are in front of the Fatehpuri Masjid and this is where the Khari Bauli area kind of ends and the main road or the main thoroughfare of Shah Jahanabad begins uh, which actually at one end has the Fatehpuri Masjid and on the opposite end it has the famous Red Fort which is where the king or the Mughal ruler lived. That's where you'll find the Red Fort. So yeah, as you can see you can experience probably you're getting a little wet as well <laughs> it's raining consistently maybe now a little heavily but you're of course safe under my umbrella <laughs> and yeah i think here we are enjoying the rains from this main chandni chowk road and i think today we've ended a lot of significant portion and significant exploration of Old Delhi but not really ended ended I do have a few more places a few more ideas 
a few more turns that I haven't taken. So of course we'll keep walking and we'll keep doing this over the coming weekends. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you again. Bye.